Hi, welcome to my super secret warehouse studio. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Taking a look at how we fly through the windows of this home to view the backyard and then the neighbor's house. First, I'll take this clip and put a hold frame where I want to begin to zoom in. At the beginning of the hold, use the blade tool and cut it. Let's use the magnetic mask on the window we want to fly through. Let me clean up the mask a bit and then hit Analyze. Option up to copy the clip. Then let me disable the clip for just a moment. On the bottom clip, invert the magnetic mask. And you should see an open window. Enable the top clip. I'll attempt to make it look like the window is opening by cropping the window left to right. Then let's make the top and bottom a compound clip. The next step is to zoom into the open window. We're going to do that by using the Ken Burns effect. Take the red box, make it as small as you can, and put it where the zoom should end. I'll add a Gaussian blur and keyframe it to increase as the zoom makes it to the window. The zoom is a bit fast for my liking, so I'll adjust the speed of the back clip. I'll slow it down and then make it a compound clip. I'll speed ramp this part of the clip so the zoom is slower, then speeds up as it nears the window. That looks pretty good, so now we can bring the bedroom video in under the clip. You can see as the curtains open and we zoom, the bedroom starts to appear. The only thing we want to do here is use the transform tools to lower the scale from let's try 50 to 100 at the full reveal to simulate a zoom as the bedroom appears. I'm going to speed ramp the end of the bedroom clip to speed up toward the window after the camera enters the room. Next, let's magnetic mask the next window. Disable the top clip for a moment. First, let's increase the view so we can get the mask just right. Adjust the mask and hit Analyze. Next, we again want to simulate the window opening, so first option up to copy the clip. You can see the window isolated by the magnetic mask. Let me click the mask off for a second. Let's turn the mask back on and again utilize crop to make the window open. First, invert the mask on the bottom clip. Then here, let's set two crop keyframes on the bottom of the top clip to simulate the window opening. And it looks something like this. Now we're ready to use the Ken Burns zoom again to the window. First, let's make the two bedroom clips a compound clip. Then add a hold frame where you want the zoom to start. And again, minimize the red Ken Burns box on the window that we're flying through. And so far, our video looks like this. Let's bring in the third video and place it where the window is opening. Scale it down at the beginning and then back up to 100% at the full reveal. That looks pretty nice. Finally, group all these into a compound clip and then I'm going to speed ramp a few spots for a final look. And here's how the final short fly-through video looks. That's it. Thanks for watching. Two more short tutorials in case you're interested.